This week in West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice kicked off the annual Gold Rush event in Babcock State Park. This year we're going to stock 40,000 golden trout. All of us, I mean, growing up, for crying out loud, I can even remember when we had a trout season. You know, but, but all of us are, we're excited beyond belief with the idea that just maybe, maybe you could catch a golden trout. The governor also announced an expansion of the Northrop Grumman plant to create up to 500 more jobs at their Mineral County location over a five year period. And he recognized students from Tulsa High School for winning first place in the annual No School Spirits PSA contest held by the West Virginia Alcohol Beverage Control Administration. It's really sad and it absolutely rips the guts out of communities and families and everything else and you don't want to be one. And what these great kids have done and you've done and our teachers have done and our great principals done and our great superintendent and our board and on and on State Farm and on and on will actually save a life. Meanwhile, the West Virginia National Guard welcomed home more than 130 soldiers who had been on a nine month deployment to Kuwait. The West Virginia State Police celebrated their 100th anniversary, honoring those who have lost their lives in the line of duty. Private James Shrewsbury. Private Ulrich Crawford. And the West Virginia Division of National Resources participated in a student job fair at Marshall University. I would tell them to come to work for DNR because, like I said, we have a really great work culture. We're not just bound sometimes by the offices like many other agencies are. We're able to get out. You can find more information about these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.